Not the two major ones are the scariest ones that we're going to see is going to yeah. be uh, the, the counter hit fishing tool. So it's going to be back one. Back it's one. Be the down threat of back two. one counter hit is huge. Back one and down four two are going to kind of seal the ability for uh, for Ikari to really do anything risky. So he's get Ikari's going to have to play insanely compact. Aside from that, Son the jab, the just standing jab itself, not even well, one two or one just two one. Just because he has so many options, they can come after. Jab is going to complement everything that he does. So it's it's going to be interesting because. You know, Steve doesn't have the best mix-ups. He has, doesn't have the best way to really open up his opponents. So, Ni nee is totally banking on the fact that Ikari is going to make mistakes. And just like that, he made every single mistake. Or e even just one or two, that's enough. Yeah. And look at that, Ni nee starting it off. Fight. Block and punish. It also nice. really becomes difficult based on life lead as well, right? If, if, oh yeah, if it's, it's a situation where Ni has the life lead and all of a sudden you have to go in on him, that's it's it's all about risk mitigation. Yeah. You know, if you're in a situation where Steve has the life lead and you have to go in on him, good luck, homie. That's what Steve wants. That's what Ni wants. Yeah. But right now Ni is down and it's looking really good for Ikari, Ikari Warrior. Round three. Yeah, showing he can play this match. Obviously, if you play a mission, you're going to have to know this match will be the way. Oh, yeah. You know, I think the most dangerous thing about Kazuya, and I think it really sets him apart from the other Mishimas, is his 50-50, his vortex pressure. What? His pressure is insane. So when it comes to landing the Hell Sweep and landing, you know, an unseeable mix-up, it's, it's just insane. Jab strings. He's been using a lot of that low back fist. Oh, nice Fine float. I'm max range, bro. Man. Great presence of mind there from Nii, but oh, the second hit doesn't land. Sidewall saving lives, doesn't matter. Peels him right back off, finds an advantageous situation Round after. Nii with a good lead in this first game. One round lead. Oh, oh, he could have had the low. What's he, he doing? He didn't let it rip. You gotta believe. Uh oh. But Ikari, man, he, he kind of threw that away, but a magic four of his own. Not really magic, that's like voodoo, right? Uh, uh. There's a follow up. Stat oh, nice. this is gonna hurt. It's not gonna kill, but it's gonna do a ton of damage. And look at that carry too. Ex Sonic, able to corner him. Take positional advantage too. Oh, and he was ready. And he gets tagged. And Nee called him out. He knew there was gonna be a reaction at some point. Nee was already ducking when that down back three came out. That's so scary, dude. That's a and is a defender when you're blocking that man. That was rough. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament Sunday. I mean, what are you going to do at this point? I feel like he's been duking it out okay. You know, he didn't do too bad. He didn't He didn't get completely destroyed there in that last match. Oh, the last day on Earth. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle, battle. I feel like, you know, whenever Nii comes into the spot, especially maybe, especially in Korea, he's probably always favored to win. I feel like, I mean, how often is it? He's been the favorite over the past year, I think. Hmm. You say you say that, but even for someone like him, man, in a tournament like this, even with someone, you know, obviously he has really good play experience versus a, a, a large pool of players here. Yeah. Even despite he's never the won this tournament, it's still it's still so tough. Yeah, he's, ne he's never won this tournament yet. What was the last time, he, time he's won a big tournament in Korea? It's been a while. That's not a team tournament either. Big launch, yeah. Build the life lead up at this point. He can just keep it, keep it risk free for the rest of the match. Oh man, it's looking really good right now. I mean, he doesn't even have to go in aggressively, but yeah. he, I, I mean, he's, like he's just doing it because he feels all right. He Ikari, wants to end it. Round two. It's kind of got overwhelmed there. What could, what could Ikari be doing better? Do you think? Well, this, the thing is, like, he's not going for the health. You haven't seen the health at all, right? He's too much respect he's, given, I think. I feel like he's scared to do it. He doesn't want to get launched. He feels like maybe needs defense and spacing may be too good. The thing is, he needs stuff like that. There you okay, go. Well, yeah, Start the blender. One out. Oh, he went for the mix-up. He went for there, but knee was ready. Oh, he's out! Oh, double four! He is out! Hey, that, man, we saw two double Kazuya combos today. Both in this two guy. hours. In two hours. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, what a trade. Was that the missing element? Maybe. Cue up, drink that juice. Yeah, me got you at this wall. Oh no. Another this big mid. Yowch. Right back at you. Okay, counter hit sweet. Is he going to double activate again? I feel like he might. Oh no. Oh no. Unfortunate. 
and they need ready with the step, able to take advantage after. Two up set point me at this point. Me looking really, really strong, obviously. I mean, we saw Ikari earlier in the tournament, and he was doing very, very impressive work. But right now, he, oh, go to sleep, baby. Yeah, he go counter. Go to sleep. Do it again. Nice punish. No, he, it's, that's it's it. over. That's done. Yeah, there's no coming back. Even if he lands like all these hits, it's over. Finishes him all with a low knee, able to move on winner's side, as as predicted, right? But hey, good stuff to Ikari, man. Started to show some signs of life towards the end. Yeah. She gave us another devil activation. Yeah.